Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into Peter McGrail and Brad Forster, which should be an, an interesting fight. McGrail is still on that comeback uh, trail from that devastating loss back late in 2023 to uh, Jerico O'Quinn on the Bam Rodriguez card with uh, Sonny Edwards in in. Uh, Desert Diamond Arena in Arizona. Um, taking on Brad Foster, who's put together some uh, solid performances as of late. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the best gambling advice in the boxing world. Like I said, I am the absolute best in the world at this. Get the lock of the week for just $5 a month. Get the uh, the Patreon. Uh, ask to bookie anything. Get the updated props. Get request a, a video. Get all of the best gambling advice in the world for 5 bucks a month. Uh, before we get into that... Um, also, subscribe to the other town, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All the proceeds are going to go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Peter McGrail has great feet. He fights with his feet. Doesn't sit still. Great mobility, quick mobile feet, good angle. He is... Uh, He's repetitious, and this is why he got knocked out by, by Quinn. He's repetitive with his faint jab, jab, left hand, right? Faint jab, jab, left hand, or faint right hook. And it's just repetitive, and it's easy to time. And what happened was Quinn picked up on this, had lost every round. Oh, Quinn, Jerico oh, Quinn, uh, picked up on this, noticed this, and then just dropped him and finished him with one shot. It was it, it was predictable. It's not that he's slow. It's not. It's just it, when you do the same thing over and over again, you, you make yourself easy an easy target, and it's exactly what he did. Uh, but he's athletic. He puts his punches together well. There's a, there's a lot of good things. There's a, there's a lot of good things uh, to like about him. Quick hands, uh, but he needs to change up his combinations. He needs to change up his cadence. He just comes at you with the same thing. And if you watch the tape, this is very, very noticeable. Uh, he fights with his feet. Like I said, not a ton of pop. He's great at cutting off the ring. He stays in front of you. He's great at keeping his feet in front of you. He's a come forward guy. He's mostly off the front foot. His feet are, and his legs are, are his everything. He's not much of a puncher. He throws in decent volume, but he's constantly off the front foot. When you're constantly off the front foot and not a puncher, you got to be perfect, and he's skilled, and he's good, and he can execute. I just at the highest level, and he's not fighting a guy at the highest level. He's going to have issues, and he needs to figure out how to mix things up more, how to change things up. He needs to fight more front foot and back foot, not just predominantly a front foot guy because, like I said, he's not a puncher, so he needs to learn how to fight off the back foot at times. But he stays in front of you. He cuts off the ring. He makes you uncomfortable. He can do a lot, a lot of good things in there for sure. He's a good fighter. I, I, again, at the highest level, I, I don't – he's going to have to improve things. He's fighting Brad Forster. Brad Forster is not a fighter at the highest level. Nothing special about him. And he's going to get dominated. He's not a hitter. He's not a volume puncher. He uses his legs too. Back foot guy. Likes to have the fight at long range. A lot, a lot, a lot of one shot at a time. A lot of one shot at a time. He can flurry pretty well. He just... he It's one... It, there's so much one shot. And you know there's nothing behind it. And it's easy to counter. 
when he throws his combinations, which is rare, which is not often, he's a pretty good combination puncher. He flurries. There's not any pop on it. He works behind his feints. You see him, he feints a lot. He feints pretty well. Decent hand speed. Has nice, like I said, when he when he when he does flurry, he, they're quick. But a lot of times he'll come straight in, he's easy to hit. And then it, it's one shot at a time, so it's easy to counter. He can switch it a bit. But he switches in front of you, which is dangerous. Like, he switches within range, in the mid-range. That, that, that's not good. Pretty decent speed. Hand foot, hand speed, foot speed is pretty good. He's going to be the slower man in the ring because he's fighting a, a better athlete who's quicker. Uh, but he's not slow by any means. Like I mentioned, he pulls straight out. Uh, good bounce to his step, though. Head is on the line. This guy, you know, when you're not a hitter and you're easy to hit, he's just there's nothing special about him. There's nothing really – to like about him. He's not a terrible fighter. He's a domestic level guy who's going to lose to the top domestic guys in England. There's just not a, a, a ton. Like this is, he's going to get, he's going to get down and he's going to get out points. I like the fight to go the distance, um, but he's going to lose every round. I, I, I feel. So let's take a look at the, let's take a look at this because this is a, a, a great fight to add to your props, uh, add to your parlay. I mean, um, here it is. Still nothing on it. Right now, guys, Peter McGrell, money line. If you want to make a bet on this, you can. $150 bet. One and a half times bet. Your normal bet. So $150 in this case would make you $1071. So you, as you can see, there's not a lot of money to be made here on the money line. Okay. Add this to your parlay, though. This is easy money. This is a tune-up fight. This is a get right fight for McGrell. Uh, I don't see Brad Foster really posing any threat. So, so you can help bring down your parlay with this. I do like this fight to go the distance. So if the prop's dropping, we'll take the over. If there's a prop, does the fight go the distance? But yes, but we can take a look at that together when the time is right. McGrail by decision would be a good prop. I, I definitely like that. I like McGrail. I like the over. I like different things like that. McGrail's not a puncher. Foster's not terrible. He's just not very good. Like there's nothing special. There's not much to like about him. Um, there is a lot to like about McGrill. I just, like I said, his flaws, I think, are going to be exposed at the highest level. Fortunately for him, Brad Foster is nowhere near that. So McGrail, money line, minus 1,400. Not making any money on a standalone bet. But what I do like is adding McGrill to your parlay. Help brings down the odds. You could do a nice little parlay you know, with Sandy Ryan or um, Rhiannon Dixon. And, and you can get decent odds on it. So... Uh, but Grail's going to win. We can make some money on it. Throw some money on it. Uh, put it in your parlay. It's an easy, easy hit. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Smash the like button, guys. Please smash the like button. Uh, it is September 25th, 2024. Uh, from oh, Also join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also a little ticker below. Get the best gambling advice in the known world. Uh, it's September 25th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside.